Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For today's final video, day 10 takes us to the 8th of December. And we'll be able to send out beyond that with the SNGFS and ESF ensembles. They are running to radical weeks. We'll have a look at SFSV2 at the 8th of the video for the next four weeks. It's Christmas, blimey. And uh, I'll get time back for you in a moment to say that first. Video series, our 6M UK weather forecast. We've also released Jeremy Frey. Check out those two bits. Like, share and subscribe if you like to be back. Thank you for the video, Matt. Sorry about not having any videos yesterday. I have a day off from a second job at What the Gap, and I find a day off from uh, YouTube as well. And I think I might do that every week. Uh, I'm getting older. I'm nearly 50. Well, 48, but I'm getting on for 50. Um, I reckon one day a week I need to take off and, you know, just rest from everything. Just switch up all the screens and devices and have a day off. So I might do that every Thursday, actually, if that's all right. Because I usually have Thursday off from a second job. Uh, what for? Yeah. But uh, obviously something exciting or interesting happened. Like, I've got to do Snowwatch event, then I'll do a video on Thursday. But, like, I think I might I might have Thursdays on uh, going forward. So if you're worried about Pub Run Live, go Pub Run Live. Basically, I'm still a little bit sore uh, with the ribs. I have to be quite busy on Pub Run Live. So uh, I think... I'll leave that off this week, but probably we'll start doing... But I've also got quite a bit to do with the winter forecast as well, by the way. Got to get the analogs created and that. Um, but uh, I think we'll probably uh, start doing a more regular pub run live starting from next week. So watch this space. Anyway, all of that public service announcement done. Let's crack on with your 10 to 14 day. -er. So, we're going to begin with the latest wind flow map from Earth, nullschool.net. Showing that low pressure is in control and dominating to the northwest Scotland and bring in quite a strong. Uh, westerly jet stream as well. So uh, overall looking mixed and unsettled. It's quite interesting actually because there's like a weather system through here, you see this light just here. There's like a trailing weather system. And that uh, front is going to develop an area of low pressure starting somewhere around here. It's going to bring a bit of a soaking to uh, much of England and Wales tonight and tomorrow morning. So, a uh, wet old spell. Right, okay, well, central temperature is currently sitting at 8.5. That's about 2 degrees above 61 to 99 average provisional to the 26th of November. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles so for the next couple of weeks on Sheffield today. The red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Sheffield. So, off around average with the upper air temperature at the moment, they're going to be sliding away though as we go through the next few days. So, becoming quite chilly to at the start of next week. Then, lifting up with another area of low and then hovering quite close to a long term 30 year average as we move through December. The main story, again, as we've been telling in vids recently, is precipitation. So, a deluge to come tonight and tomorrow. Looks like we're in for another deluge use then into the early part of next week and more heavy rain looks like it's carrying on from the first week into the second week of December. You look at that, it looks like it's going to be a very wet couple of weeks to come. Temperature normally is for the next five days to the 3rd of December. Cold now for Scotland Island, a little bit above average for England and Wales. 10 to 14 day, just generally milder than average in most places up to the 12th of December. Precipitation anomalies for the next seven days to 5th of December, looking very wet for much of England and Wales. Be 8 to 14 day. Looks like that's still generally wet to the normal. Okay, let's start going through your chart day. Then this our latest UK bet. Your run is looking for midnight on Monday. And we see low pressure in control and in the ascendancy. Lots of wet weather heading in from up. And heights trying to raise, or rise, I should say. Trying to raise the heights up to the north a little bit. But relatively weak. Not enough to block the progress of these areas of low. And there's another deep low there on the jet stream. Uh, at the end, actually, that's Friday the 5th. Uh, that's got our name well and truly on it, I think. Right, Icon uh, looks like this. Yes. Again, low pressure coming in from the Atlantic, bring up a very mild southwesterly. And those areas of low carry on, keep on coming all the way up to uh, the end of next week. Again, which are seeing signs of height rises to our uh, north and northeast. Those areas of low being blocked a little bit up to that point, it's still looking uh, very mild and wet. And this could turn into a very wet pattern. Of course, because if these uh, if these uh, ridges or the blocks aren't strong enough to, you know, really force those low pressures in that direction, 
and bring the wind into a drier and colder easterly, what will happen is that the areas of low will just tend to get stuck, really. They'll come up against the block and uh, just slow down and become stuck. And then that can turn into a very, very, very uh, wet pattern. Oh, <laughs> not great, is it? Uh, KMA looks like this. Again, low pressure dominates dominates the weather through uh, next week. The areas of low carry on coming. Now, this does eventually start sending those areas of low pressure and the energy to the south. So we get to about day 10. Heights are rising enough to start sending those areas of low pressure south. We actually bring in the wind to the east and to the northeast there with the KMA. Looks like it's probably quite temporary. A uh, bit of a cold, temporary cold snap because we've got lots of low pressure uh, towards Greens and Eisen. I reckon that very quickly roll in over the top of the UK and break down that block. But we need to turn a bit colder there uh, around day 10 for a few days, just beyond it. So low pressure sink to the south will certainly be some overnight frost. Right, OK, back to the weather. And we're going to have a look at the GFS starting with the midnight run. So low pressure again, bring lots of mild wet wind weather in off the Atlantic into the beginning of uh, next week. The low pressures carry on uh, through to the end of next week. But heights are rising uh, to the east and to the northeast a bit. However, the lows continue to rattle in from off the Atlantic. Long fed southwesterly there on the 10th of December. That looks really mild, uh, but without breaks of rain, likely. And we get to the 14th December. Well, low pressure still bring up those very mild southwesterly. So <laughs> very mild, but also wet first half of December. Nope, the heights are rising again, just a little bit to the north to the northeast, but it's not enough to block off the Atlantic up to that point. But since then, uh, GFS looking like this. So again, no changes. Low pressures carry on coming through the course of next week, bringing bouts of rain in with um, a very mild, wet, unsettled scenario. And, well, the low pressures don't stop, do they? They just carry on. However, right at the very end of the sixth said the heights have risen sufficiently to the door and we've actually gone far enough south to start to allow those low pressures to move into the continent, to the low countries, and bring the wind around to a northeasterly upper air temperatures there. Show that we're beginning to start dragging in, dragging in some colder air uh, from the northeast, possibly hinting at a uh, mid-December cold snap. But it's two weeks away. It's GFS. I wouldn't be putting any money on that at this stage. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Guards of so Get them to subscribe to you. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. About 70 subscribers gets us to 20.8k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much. I love it. Uh, right, okay, uh, GM, again with low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic, bringing lots of unsettled weather in with it. The lows carry on through to the end of next week. Wind stays from south southwest, so it continues to look mild. Uh, that's set up at day 10, April, December, very unsettled, low pressure in control. And then the East Sham rounding it all off again. Low pressure dominating the weather through next week. Very unsettled conditions. Carry on coming. Uh, heights are rising to the east and to the north. Feet, slowing down the progress of these areas of low. So, I uh, say, this can turn into a very wet pattern. Uh, ah, now it's a bit more interesting. We extended again. So, to the KMA, that low pressure sinking southwards. Heights building over Scandinavia. Winds turning into the east, starting to drag in some colder air from the east there. And then low pressure coming up against that. So a bit of a battle for the end of the ECM run. Yes, we've got high pressure up to our northeast. We've got low pressure out to the west. The irresistible force is meeting the immovable object. And which way do we go there? I think out of all the modern data, ECM probably the most interesting. I don't think the upper air temperatures are that cold, though. So Maya with the upper air temperatures there from the ECM until around and just after day 10. Now, we bring most east winds, but they're not particularly cold, uh, east Um, Got to have a chill to them, of course. 
course, but like there's no real cold air over on the continent. That's 360 hours. Uh, where's where's the cold across the continent? Oh, that can change very very quick. Because all it needs is like for this uh, this low up here to dive southwards, and then you bring all of this cold air that's up there down into the continent, feed the across the west of Europe on those east winds. So I wouldn't really be that concerned about there being no cold air across Europe. That can change within 24 hours. But, like, well, you look at that, and, like, it's certainly not going to be a particularly cold east, initially, anyway, if we do get wind into the east. This is your precipitation forecast based on the east and run from Tibetia.com up to day 10, turning very wet across much of England and Wales uh, this evening and overnight, lasting into tomorrow as well for much of the day. Uh, could be a bit of snow across the Pennines as well. Another deluge coming up on Monday. Blimey, oh dear. Uh, lots of heavy rain with that one too. And this deluge December carries on into the extent as well with wet weather never all that far away. These are this is the options on the table. Sorry, we're from the ECM Ensembles today. Four day temp, I'll say it meant office gets us to the 8th of December. 51 out of, out of 50 members of the ECM Ensembles, all of them with high pressure to the north, northeast, low pressure over the country, very unsettled. And up to day 10, looking quite mild. But in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. And it will get us to the 13th of December. 27 members of the ECM ensembles bring low pressure in from off the Atlantic. So very wet. The deluge December goes on. 24 boats. It's virtually 50 50, not quite but virtually, with high pressure over Scandinavia. No pressure being blocked out in the Atlantic. The winds in from, as we've seen, a not particularly cold easterly. So which way do we go by mid December? Interesting, we'll keep you updated. Right, CFS V2 beats a 500 millibar height denominators and they're broken down into eight periods. The first week period takes 28th November, 4th September. Next week, looking unsettled and wet. Low pressure moving in from the Atlantic. Week 2 is going to be the uh, 5th route to be 11th of December. Low pressure carries on coming. Uh, very wet up to that point. Week 3 is going to be the 12th uh, through to the 18th of December. Low pressure continues and then finally week four rounds it all off 19th of december to christmas day yes christmas started to appear within cfs time frame low pressure sinking through the west of europe looks like a wet and mild christmas on the way of course, it's four weeks away, so it's a long way off. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, so everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about what's he doing? What's he doing? And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Get subscribed to. Thank you so much, so everyone, for doing that. Tomorrow, we've got 6 MUK weather forecast. We've got the second and final winter 2025 26 season model roundup coming up. That's going to be an interesting video. Channel members, look out for your ECM WF 42 day exclusive. And of course, I'll be at Sporting day as well. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Friday, and bye for now.